Okay, uh, hi everyone, uh, this is Fuller from England, and uh, I'm just going to um, try to uh, uh, add in some people here. Let's maybe move my screen a little bit more directly to the uh, camera. Um, okay, so I'm a UK native speaker, and uh, I have been teaching the IELTS. Uh, online, uh, starting from about, well, I first taught the IELTS online about eight years ago. So if you have a question about the IELTS, uh, please go ahead, and I can do my best to answer. Um, now, while people are joining, um, I'm going to start uh, trying to share this in some groups uh, to hopefully get some uh, people joining. So I'll just uh, introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Philip from OnlineEnglishTeacher.com. Uh, welcome to the free webinar, and if you have a question about the IELTS, uh, please go ahead. Um, I first started teaching the IELTS online about uh, eight years ago, um, and um, uh, have also uh, have also taught uh, uh, grammar and you know many other things, business English, etc. Online, so I'm just going to be going ahead and sharing this in uh, various groups, uh, just just while. Uh, while uh, people are joining, or to try and get more people to join, etc., uh, to view this. Okay, uh, right. Um, so thanks for the like. Um, okay, I'm just going to be sharing this into various groups here. Okay, sure. I think it's going to be sharing it maybe. Not sure exactly, maybe about 20 groups or something, possibly. Um, okay, let's see. Right, there's one person here, uh, two people here, um, just at this precise moment. Uh, just going out to one again. And uh, anyway, uh, anyone here who would like to ask a question about English, please do feel welcome to go ahead. And I will try my best to answer. Um, and while people are maybe thinking about questions, I'm also going to... Um, try to share this in some groups uh, to try and get some more uh, people viewing perhaps okay let's keep sharing here um, right uh, it's gonna okay I'm just gonna keep sharing into different groups and as I said, if anyone has a question uh, please don't hesitate and go ahead and write a question um, or otherwise, I will just give uh, tips from my own memory. Uh, if I'm the only person who seems to be kind of uh, messaging. Okay, uh, right, let me. Uh, I was maybe just going to start multitasking. So anyway, if anyone has a question, please go ahead. Otherwise, I'm going to start giving tips. Uh, so I'll just start giving uh, some general tips here about the IELTS. Uh, the first tip for the IELTS exam is make sure that you. Uh, this is from memory. Uh, make sure that you give sufficient time to prepare. Um, so basically, uh, you know, you don't want to um, uh, necessarily uh, prepare um, like a very short time before the exam, uh, obviously. Um, so, um, you know, it can take a reasonable amount of time to, uh, to prepare. So, um, you know, think about if you need to maybe uh, give uh, plenty of time for preparation. Okay, uh, the next uh, tip for the IELTS is try to understand the exam. Um, so the IELTS exam has uh, uh, four sections, uh, reading, uh, reading, writing, speaking, and listening. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't have a... Now, I'm just saying, if anyone has a specific question, uh, please go ahead and ask. And uh, I'm going to... Um, uh, if anyone has a specific question, uh, uh, please please go ahead and ask. Um, uh, otherwise, I can just go ahead um, and uh, uh, I will uh, uh, give tips from my memory. Right. Uh, so uh, the next tip uh, uh, I'm going to uh, give uh, is um, about uh, uh, items you can equipment you can bring. Uh, so um, basically, uh, for the IELTS exam, uh, you know you can't. You, there's a limited amount of items you can bring. You can't bring a, a you know, can't bring a dictionary. 
um, or, or uh, anything like that into the exam. Uh, actually, I'd even heard that you may not be able to um, bring a uh, you may not be able to bring even a um, um, a uh, uh, you may not be able to bring uh, even a watch. Uh, possibly heard that somewhere. Um, so uh, right, okay. Uh, let me go ahead uh, for the uh, next tip here. Um, and while I'm doing that, I'm just going to be uh, adding in some more people. Right. Uh, so uh, the next tip for uh, the IELTS exam I'm going to uh, share is um, basically um, uh, for the exam. Um, um, yes. Yeah, so make sure you know where the exam is. So uh, basically. You know, you're not uh, you're not going to be rushing there or anything like that uh, if if you're in a hurry uh, to get there. So make sure you know where the exam is and make sure that uh, you have uh, enough time to get there. Okay, uh, hi everyone. I can see there are five or six people here at the moment. Uh, this is Philip. Uh, my website is onlineenglishteacher.com. Um, and if you have a question about the IELTS, please go ahead. Uh, I'm a UK native speaker, and I first uh, started teaching the IELTS uh, online about eight years ago. Um, and I'm, a, you know, I specialize teaching the IELTS. And if you have a question about the IELTS, uh, please do go ahead and ask, and I will try my best uh, from my memory to uh, to answer that. Okay, uh, right. Um, so uh, let me see here. Um, it's going to go ahead. Right, excellent. I have the first uh, comments here, um, and uh, uh, I will just have a look at it in a second. Uh, let's see if that's what that's about. Now, if anyone else has a question, uh, please go ahead and write it, and I'll try my best to answer. Right. Um, so currently there are uh, uh, seven people here. So. Uh, uh, hi, how are you, sir? I'm from Bangladesh. Oh, thank you very much for asking. Uh, MD uh, Jamil Ahmed, nice to meet you too. I'm uh, doing fine, thank you, and appreciate that uh, question. Um, right, uh, Runer. Um, right, uh, let me see here. Um, okay. Um, okay. Right. Uh, let me see here. Um, okay. Uh, right. Uh, let's go ahead and just check any more uh, questions that are coming in. Uh, nothing yet, but I'm going to keep uh, sharing this in uh, other uh, uh, other groups. Right, uh, eight people here at the moment. So welcome everybody. Uh, appreciate that uh, coming to listen. And uh, if anybody has a question, please do go ahead and ask, and I'll, I will try my best to answer. Right. Um, okay. Right. I'm going to go ahead with the next tip here. Um, so, oh, I have another uh, comment here. Um, right. Um, so the next, uh, no, no more uh, comments here. So right, I'm going to go ahead now for the uh, for the next uh, tip, and uh, the next tip uh, for the IELTS exam uh, is. Oh, hang on, I have a message maybe for somebody. Uh, right, uh, I I want to develop my IELTS reading part. Uh, please, uh, please uh, help me there. Okay, excellent question there from M D. Jamil Ahmed. Okay, uh, so. Um, basically, uh, for the reading exam, I think there are, you know, basically at least two main areas for, uh, in, for uh, to focus on for that. Um, and the first uh, main area is um, think about a schedule. So basically, uh, you can, for example, read the questions for three minutes. Uh, then read the text for uh, seven minutes. Um, then uh, you can um, 
um, then you can answer for seven minutes and then check for two minutes um, and then and then um, uh, and then um, uh, do a final check for one minute uh, right hang on um, um, okay right okay uh, so I'm just gonna see maybe um, okay so basically now um, what I recommend is so that the first thing is to have a schedule so um, that um, you can uh, tr you know try to um, you know move at speed because the thing about the IELTS exam is that uh, it is a very fast exam for some sections like the reading and you know and so on um, or you know so uh, well at least at least the reading you know for many people um, so basically um, yes so basically uh, um, you know uh, ba basically um, uh, try to have a schedule so you don't run out of time and also for the text uh, for the questions underline the questions the key uh, words in the questions um, and make maybe a few bullet points but next to the text to look out for some key words etc uh, at least uh, perhaps uh, handful about how many but basically anyway in the questions there are some bullet points you can find which may be useful you can put them on the text whatever that number would be then um, and uh, also, when you're formatting the text, uh, underline key words and then make uh, make bullet points next to the paragraph, you know, the sections, etc. Um, so that uh, uh, basically, uh, so that uh, I seem to be saying basically a lot. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should be saying that. Anyway, um, so that um, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> trying not to try not to cough. Uh, so um, yes, yeah, so. You, what you want to do is underline keywords in the question and maybe make some bullet points to put next to the text and then underlining keywords in the text um, and then uh, make uh, bullet points next to some of the paragraphs or sections uh, for the IELTS so because it's really not possible to uh, to um, read you know very convenient to uh, read it twice um, that <clears throat> the text even for a native teacher or native speaker or you know, anything like that um, it's not going to be very, uh, very uh, convenient. Okay, uh, right. Uh, excellent uh, question. Now, uh, I'm just trying to see here if I miss any comments. I'm, I'm, excuse me if I have. And, oh, yes, if anyone has a question, please do go ahead. Uh, hi, Adele. Um, I'm not sure where I'm getting that message from <laughs> Facebook. Maybe I don't know very much about this program. I'm sure, I'm sure I must know something. Okay, uh, right. Um, now, uh, yes, so uh, the two key strategies are making a schedule and then formatting the text for the reading. I'm talking about the reading exam here. Um, and um, uh, basically, um, so that you can kind of move at speed and, uh, and not run out of time. And also, you can, find, you can locate information more easily in a text uh, when you need to uh, locate it again. So I hope that makes sense. Now, uh, if anyone does have a question, uh, I can see there are about eight people, eight or nine people. Please do go ahead and ask, and I'll try my best. I may not know the answers, however, I will give it a go. Um, right, uh, okay. I can't understand proper listening part because I felt accent is very hard. Uh, when I li hear listening part accent makes me problem, how can I solve it? Okay, excellent question. Um, now, I'm not sure exactly um, I think uh, a while back, maybe I'm not sure if it's years back or something, um, or maybe a year back, I don't know. Uh, I was reading, I think possibly on the IELTS website, uh, maybe it was when I was writing my ebook, and they said something like the accents uh, maybe from the UK, North America, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. I'm not sure that's 100% correct from memory. I would need to check it. Um, and um, uh, so. Yes, so pro I mean, I'm not sure, you know, the statistics of what types of accents. I would guess there may be at least, you know, uh, at least a reasonable amount uh, from the UK, obviously, because it's a British exam. However, also uh, there may be accents from other countries as well. Um, so trying to just you know, keep uh, familiar with the different accents, um, and maybe the best way is just to listen to re recent uh, listening exams, um, and then. 
you know, you can see what is the pattern. Um, I did buy IELTS Cambridge 8 or, or 7 or something a while, uh, one or two years ago or something. Uh, but uh, to really, I'm not sure the percentage, so exactly what they say. Uh, I, I def I'm not sure I've, I've seen that on their website. Um, anyway, so, uh, however, try to get like a variety of, uh, try to do lots of listening exams, and then you can maybe, if, if you're listening to some recent ones, you can maybe see if there are any patterns, um, uh, <clears throat> listening to know what, what, what the percentage is for the different uh, nationalities. Um, and uh, also, yes, so as well as doing that, you can also just try to listen to a variety of accents in your free time as well. You know, like maybe some Australian English on YouTube. You can Google ABC Australia. I think that is the the uh, news um, uh, channel uh, on YouTube uh, for Australia. Um, so basically, you can do that, um, and uh, also maybe listening to some like you know CNN online, CBS online, or whatever some of the news reports, and then of course the BBC online, um, and then Canadian accents uh, will be a little bit different as well, but fairly similar to American English, I, I would guess. Uh, many times. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, excellent question. Now, um, 10 people are watching this video. The message from Facebook. Thank you very much. Oh, it's actually 13 now. So, or it's now 9. <laughs> so, I think. Okay, I was getting a little bit excited, maybe. Right. Okay. Um, which I'm sure I shouldn't. Um, okay. Now, uh, hi, everyone. Uh, this. Okay. Oh, I'm back online. Okay. Uh, or uh, Facebook was disconnected or I was disconnected. Now, hi, everyone. Uh, this is Philip from England. I'm a UK native speaker. And I first started teaching uh, the IELTS online uh, about uh, eight years ago. So if you have any questions about the IELTS exam that uh, you would like to ask, uh, please feel welcome to ask. Um, oh, also, if anyone wants to add me on Skype, um, I will give my Skype ID, also my website, uh, well, I'll give my Skype ID and email. So if anyone's interested in adding me, uh, here, here it is. Um, oh, I have uh, like a free ebook and also a free forum um, and also paid resources as well. Okay, uh, next. Uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, right, so another question from MD. Uh, must be short for Mohammed, right? Uh, all your intonations is very nice. Keep it up. I'm so proud of you. Oh well, thank you very much, uh, Mohammed. I, you know, I really appreciate the positive feedback there, and uh, kind of giving me a bit of confidence here. That's very nice to hear. Um, okay, uh, right now, if anyone has any, um, okay, just go back to Mohammed's uh, question. I'm guessing this is your name uh, for a short, short abbreviation there, MD. Uh, okay, accent is very hard. So yeah, I mean, it's a bit like. You know, I think like some areas of English, it's a bit like going down the gym. Um, you know, as everybody realizes, uh, you can't go down the gym and kind of improve overnight. And uh, I guess like for learning English and many other things in life, um, it's very hard to improve uh, overnight, right? Um, so uh, basically, um, just um, uh, try to do like regular and often. Um, is the best. Uh, I think for most things in life, people say do things regularly and often to build up the skill. Um, so um, basically, um, you know, regularly listen, uh, like daily, try and set a goal, for example, 30 minutes listening every day. And you can try and make a variety of, you know, female, male, different nationalities, young, old, you know, that kind of stuff, group in, you know, group or large group or whatever, uh, etc. Um, uh, I would need to maybe just refer back to the criteria of the listening exam, the groups, um, the, the sizes of the uh, of the uh, number of people in, in the different sections there. But yeah, so just try to listen to a good variety and of course try to um, as well, um, uh, you know, um, do lots of reading, uh, do lots of listening exams and of course, you know, any other areas like reading as well um, can be useful. Okay, that's an excellent question there. Um, okay, I want to speak English fluently. What to do? Okay, uh, right. Uh, this is uh, from Gitam. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. From uh, um, I'm not sure which country. Um, okay. Um, anyway, that's an excellent question. Um, and um, for 
uh, speaking fluently, you know, it's it's like um, uh, the best thing for speaking fluently. Uh, you know, I've taught English part and full time for uh, approximately twelve years now, or something. Um, and the best thing to do is actually just to do lots of uh, obviously speaking practice. Um, and it's a bit like playing tennis. Um, just to give an obvious example, you can um, you can play tennis. Uh, sorry, you can watch videos about tennis, or you can. Uh, uh, read books, you know, go for a run, go down the gym. However, the best way to improve speaking of uh, tennis uh, is to play tennis. Of course, uh, everybody realizes that. And uh, the best way to uh, improve your, um, you know, speaking is to do lots of speaking practice, right? I think that's uh, obvious. And um, so now um, it depends on the situation. You know, ideally, you would want to. You know, obviously, the best way to do it would be to do it with an English teacher, uh, with a native English teacher, or someone who is not doesn't have to be native, just as long as it's the similar level, if possible. Um, that would be the best. Um, so basically, just every day, if possible, or six or seven days a week, um, whatever it will be, uh, trying to do some practice, uh, uh, and you know, with a teacher, um, maybe you can also do language exchange or join a audio forum. Perhaps if, if there are any good ones, I'm not sure. Uh, probably many not good ones. Um, or uh, also, I, I'm not. I mean, people kind of maybe a lot of people try to like practice with other English learners. Uh, I'm not personally sure that's 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 the best. Uh, but but again, you know, because you may kind of learn a, a few habits which are not the best. However, I'm not saying I don't really know that much about it. So maybe it's quite useful. Um, okay, uh, right. So excellent question there. Um, and another thing you can do is you can go to maybe a website like euronews.com. That's e u r o n e w s dot com, and you can listen to the text uh, read by a native speaker at least sometimes, and then record yourself and compare it. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Um, all right. Some excellent questions coming in here. Uh, let me see. I'm just sharing this. Uh, if you hear me clicking, it's because I'm sharing this in other groups, uh, trying to get uh, people to know about this. Okay, now I'm trying to cough as well at the same time. Excuse me. Um, okay, um, let me see here. Right. Um, okay, uh, next question. Uh, excellent questions coming in here from MD Jamil Ahmed. I appreciate that. You're. Um, when I'm talking with my friends, then I think I'm doing some mistake. I feel scared, but I can speak some nicely. I ask, how can I make me a native speaker? Um, well, um, you know, I'm sure your friends would probably just be happy to speak to you, most likely, and impress you speaking in English. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, I think that um, one area, as as of you know, I started teaching English online about uh, eight, sorry, about ten years ago, actually over ten years now, uh, January two thousand and seven. And one issue I've found is that certainly for writing, however, maybe also perhaps it's connected to speaking. Uh, just thinking about it, is when people aren't so sure about their grammar, they may even be correct. However, they're just not necessarily sure that it's cor that they they are correct in what they are saying. Um, so. Um, that's maybe something to think about. Uh, are you are you you know correct uh, in what you're saying? Um, and um, uh, basically, um, that would be you know you can learn grammar yourself, and also you can just get some correction from a teacher or a you know advanced native speaker who would help you with that perhaps. Um, and uh, so work work on your grammar, uh, making sure that that it's correct. So you're reasonably confident. Um, and also, there are other areas for for speech as well, um, like uh, to do with like, for example, is your speech at a normal speed? Um, are you linking words together? So, a, a non-native speaker would say something like, uh, "Can I have a piece of cake?" And uh, to exaggerate uh, the spe the linking, a native speaker would say, "Can I can I have a piece of cake, please?" Like kind of piece of cake, please. I mean that's probably super high speed, but just to show, the native speakers will link uh, maybe more words together, and uh, non-native speakers maybe will link uh, less words together. Um, so now let's see. I'm just trying not to miss any comments here. 
Um, okay, excellent questions. Um, uh, thank you for that. And if anyone has any questions, please go ahead and write. Um, okay. Um, okay, so, yes, yeah, so basically uh, the advice uh, I'll give is just, uh, uh, is, uh, just um, uh, try to, you know, practice using English um, as much as possible. Um, that would be the main advice. Okay, um, right, uh, I'll just introduce myself again here. Uh, hi everyone, it's Philip from OnlineEnglishTeacher.com and uh, if you have a question, uh, please let me know. Um, okay, um, let's see, I'll just say in meeting, we'll reply shortly. We'll reply shortly right um, okay uh, right um, okay now I don't can't see any other questions here at the moment um, so I just go ahead for uh, another tip uh, for the uh, right uh, for the uh, IELTS exam is just try to understand all the different um, questions that uh, are um, for the IELTS exam. Uh, um, so um, you know, for uh, understand the str the you know the speaking will be three sections and in warm up questions, cue cards. You know, just just become quite familiar with the exam. Okay, a couple of comments here. Hi, Philip. Um, uh, I'm glad that you're giving great inputs. Uh, how to speak English in a continuous flow using appropriate grammar uh, pronunciation. Now, okay, that's an excellent question there, and uh, one of the favorite, um, uh, in fact, I was teaching it last night offline to a, uh, to a student um, in the UK where I live. I'm from England, and I was teaching, actually, I have an offline student I was teaching yesterday, uh, last night, uh, is uh, linking speech, and this is one of my favorite topics for speaking. I was just actually referring to earlier, um, and um, it's, you can read about this free here. Um, and uh, so native speakers, we link uh, sounds together. Uh, however, um, okay, so um, yes, yeah, so basically, now um, you can also you can also just you know learn a lot of grammar yourself. Um, like um, uh, you can uh, uh, you know you can study grammar, and then uh, also you know I do teach English online, so I probably would say this uh, from my experience, you know. Uh, anyway, from my experience, it's very useful to have a teacher, I think, just to, to uh, analyze your English and correct it. Um, I'm, not I'm not saying that, you know, you, you have to do that. Um, so, uh, however, you know, I, that's what I've done personally uh, for many years, teaching online, and uh, had success with that. However, you know, it's just useful to kind of know what you're doing correctly or incorrectly. And I, I think it's a li you can maybe ha have other English learners help you. Uh, I'm not so, you know, experienced in that area. Uh, really to say. Uh, however, I, I know a lot of people do that, so just try to learn as much as possible grammar, what is correct, and pronunciation, what is correct, um, and then, um, you know, try to maybe have, have advice uh, from uh, preferably, uh, you know, experienced teacher who can say, oh, you're doing this right or this incorrectly. Um, and also for, uh, the, uh, uh, for, the, for the question here, uh, also, try to learn. I think something I, I uh, students find quite useful is to learn um, the um, is to learn about um, uh, to learn some useful phrases. You know how you answer a statement. Uh, that's what I've I've actually made an e-course about that. Uh, one of my paid e-courses, and uh, basically, you know, you can use phrases like you know thinking back uh, or whatever. I can say that uh, blah blah. blah. Or looking forwards, uh, or looking, you know, or considering what might happen in future, you know. So try and learn some useful phrases you can use for sentences, and this can really help uh, to uh, give you confidence and accuracy. And also, if you learn some useful phrases uh, for replying, uh, then um, basically uh, this can give you a bit of time uh, to think uh, when you're speaking uh, about what is uh, what is. Uh, uh, you guys next. Okay, I hope that kind of answers your question a little bit. Uh, right, uh, let me just see here. I'm just trying to see if I've missed any comments. 
and some excellent questions and comments coming in here. Um, grammar no needs. What do you think about grammar? Um, okay, this is an excellent question from MD Jamil Ahmedin. Um, when you speak with others, uh, grammar is not needed. Um, yeah, I, well, I mean, it depends on the situation. Um, if you speak, okay, sorry, MD Jamil, I was speaking a little bit fast. Yes, I probably was. I apologize if I was to everyone as well. Um, and um, uh, basically, um, I personally, I uh, I used to say that grammar uh, was not uh, very important um, when I started teaching online uh, about 10 years ago. Uh, however, um, I've come to the conclusion that grammar is quite important, really, or necessary, almost. Um, now, it's true that um, English uh, native speakers, we don't actually learn grammar. Uh, or I didn't when I was at school. It may be changing. So it's not 100% necessary to learn grammar. However, if you don't learn grammar, there can be, <coughs> excuse me, uh, if you don't learn grammar, there can be some issues that um, basically you you may not be sure uh, if uh, uh, if what you're saying is correct, um, which is you know obviously not going to be very helpful. Um, and uh, uh, also, um, um, yes, and and therefore you may not be confident, uh, especially you know in something like a business meeting so it's definitely true that there are very many probably very many uh, grammar rules in English that are possible to learn uh, however don't spend like a huge amount of time trying to learn all the grammar and uh, I can maybe just say uh, something interesting is that uh, for native speakers like I've learned a lot of grammar how, uh, and I sp obviously speak it correctly as I'm a native speaker. However, all the rules, I've learned a lot of the rules. However, I haven't learned all the rules. I, I know it automatically. However, you know, I've been on the British Council website and probably there are many other rules uh, that I don't know, although I do use the English automatically correctly as a native speaker from England, uh, having learned it. So, uh, couple, uh, one issue would be you may not be very confident and the other issue is I think if you do learn grammar then you can actually kind of move faster because if you're not uh, speaking if you're not speaking uh, uh, you know grammar uh, if you, you know I, I mean you can kind of just improve your English uh, more, more specifically more scientifically um, and you know in terms of the accuracy so I, I do recommend learning grammar. However, you know, don't worry about learning every rule. Um, just, you know, learn enough so you can actually speak in various ways correctly. However, um, you know, don't worry thinking, oh, you've got to learn every rule. Because actually, um, probably most teachers in the world, in native speakers, will not know all the grammar. Uh, although we know it automatically, we will not have learned every rule and uh, you know and i studied it for you know a lot of time and then i realized oh there's still a lot more to learn uh, for the specific rules so don't don't sort of focus too much about uh trying to learn you know every rule of english um because it's just mission impossible uh most likely uh certainly for teachers you know i've uh, i stopped doing try i stopped trying to learn every rule in english when i found out there were so many exceptions etc and uh, I just, you know, uh, um, I would never learn them uh, uh, for a long time, and uh, most likely. Um, and so it's also similar for vocabulary. Uh, again, for native speakers, we don't know all, the, of course, uh, we don't know all the vocabulary uh, for English. You know, there are maybe one million words of English in the dictionary, and uh, basically, I'm not sure. I, I think I'd heard that something like native speakers know about 10, 20,000 or whatever. So again, native speakers, we don't know, we know um, all the, you know, a lot of the, uh, we don't know all the words of English, 
Um, and uh, for grammar, of course, we're most likely, you know, if we're educated, we're most likely, we most likely will use it correctly. Uh, however, um, it's not, um, uh, you know, it's not, uh, uh, it's not necessary to learn all the words of English, and not necessary to learn all the, all the grammar structures uh, to uh, speak correctly and, and widely, basically. Okay, so excellent question there. I appreciate that. Um, where is um, uh, oh, well, thank you very much, uh, MD Jamil Ahmed. I appreciate that. I'm from England, um, and uh, I live near uh, London. I'm below London, and uh, <clears throat> I'm um, uh, yes, and I teach. I teach online. And okay, now if anybody, oh, I didn't mention. Uh, if anybody would like to keep in touch uh, for more free webinars, uh, you can just go to my Facebook page and like it. Um, so. Perhaps you know a lot more about Facebook than me. Uh, however, I will try to send the link, and I'm sure everybody will realize what, what you need to do there. So uh, you can just go. This is my uh, uh, Facebook page here, and you can just kind of like it, and uh, you may, I'm not, oops, uh, you may uh, uh, get uh, some updates. Uh, right, excellent. I do appreciate the positive feedback here. Um, okay. Um, Excellent. So, okay, there's my Facebook page. If anyone would like to like it, uh, now I may need to just go ahead and shortly speak to someone uh, about some different topic uh, away from this. And I'm just sharing uh, the uh, chat, uh, the uh, webinar here. Okay. Uh, so, anyway, I appreciate very much uh, all the uh, comments, uh, positive uh, uh, feedback, etc. Uh, thank you for the support. Um, and uh, also some excellent questions uh, have been here as well. Okay, uh, so um, this is uh, Philip from OnlineEnglishTeacher.com, and I have some free uh, webinars. Uh, sorry, free well, free webinars, webinars like this, a free uh, ebook, um, and a free uh, forum. Okay. Um, Okay, uh, excellent question here from Eddie Ronnie. Uh, if you're having a conversation and you forget um, uh, words, Okay, excuse me, I was just maybe disconnected. Okay, oh, hi, Bashar. Uh, thank you very much. I uh, appreciate that. So I've just added you. Uh, oh, you started with me for? Okay, I'm glad you enjoyed it and you found it useful. I uh, appreciate that. Um, and I've uh, just added you to my contacts. So if you want to add me back. And uh, also, I'll just add here again my uh, Facebook page. Okay, uh, last question then from Eddie uh, Ronnie. Uh, excellent question here. And. Uh, uh, when you're speaking, if you forget words, how do you handle it? Uh, well, it's a little bit like, um, you know, you just need to kind of learn more. Um, uh, you need to you need to uh, learn a word so you can kind of, you know, still handle it. It's a bit like, you know, on, a, on one of the old planes, they have like, you know, eight engines. And then if one doesn't work, the other seven are pl plenty to continue. So just try to learn different grammar structures and different vocabulary phrase vocabulary and phrases uh, to still be able to answer uh, to still be able to answer um, like on a plane uh, which uh, you know when when one engine shuts down uh, you can still uh, continue um, okay that because basically in English there are ma ma uh, there are many different ways uh, to say something or something similar so if you don't um, if you don't uh, you know how to say it one way, try and say another, and it's a bit like a like a rope which has many strings together, and uh, basically um, the more you know the more strings, it's kind of stronger, isn't it? Uh, a rope. Um, I don't know much about ropes, but I'm sure they have lots of li little pieces of string, and you add you add them together, and it becomes very strong. And uh, also for speaking, if you're not sure how to answer, you know, if you have many options available. Uh, then uh, you know that can help there. 
Okay, uh, right. Uh, excellent questions, and uh, great to uh, uh, speak to uh, to uh, uh, hear from Bashar. I appreciate that. Now, uh, this is uh, Philip uh, from England. Uh, my website is onlineenglishteacher.com. Uh, my Skype ID is IELTS Online English Teacher, and email is info at onlineenglishteacher.com. Thank you very much, everyone, for your uh, fantastic uh, participation and making uh, such a wonderful uh, webinar. And uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, I wish you success for your English learning. And um, and uh, look forward to uh, hopefully uh, speaking again on online in future. Have a fantastic day.